Hey gang, it's your old buddy, do-it-yourself Dave, out of the basement and into the kitchen for some work that's not necessarily so fun, but sometimes it's got to be done. So, what I'm here today is to let you know about Juno recessed lighting, going beyond the instructions, going beyond the other YouTube videos. I saw one that said that up inside the housing, you need to take out this upper plate, the, the thing basically that is the top that you're seeing there. And that may be true for another model, but for this, this particular model, you don't. We've already got the can in, we had, and we put new drywall around it. But when it goes to put the inside of the, the reflector housing in, this socket is mounted up in there. There is one Phillips screw that's holding the thing in. You, and instead of taking the whole thing out, what you need to do is unscrew that one screw so and then it'll dangle. Then you need to twist and turn because the other side of it is held on by this little clip. It's just kind of like a bell-shaped type thing. It goes in a hole. But what, the reason you need to get it out is because the two spring clips that are on the side of the, the socket, the two black things that you're seeing, those need to go into those two recesses in the top of the reflector. The one that is the smallest, that's this one, goes in first by the other, and then the other, followed by the other. I've lost the ability to speak. Then, these two spring clips, they, yeah, it'll help, it'll be a lot of help without a tripod, but those get bent up like that. Those go into the uh, guide on that side. There's another guide on that side for the ones on that side. Then they just slide, slide straight up, you put your light bulb in, and turn the power back on. Oh yeah, by the way, it helps a lot if you have the power off when you're doing this. So, depending on what model you have, you may not have to go to all the trouble because, as I found out, the top really doesn't come out. Oh, and another good thing to know, there are two uh, wing nuts in there, and there's a post down beneath, and they, the top basically can slide up and down on the, on the threaded uh, post in the non-thread post. However, in my particular case, I need to get a little bit higher, otherwise the the outside lip doesn't go all the way to the ceiling when I push the reflector in. So, if you loosen the wing nut or take it off, pop the uh, the clip up above that bottom one, so you can go a little bit higher with it. Do that on both sides and screw the wing nuts down. I wouldn't say to tighten them all the way, just enough so that so that if you need to push up a little bit on it so it'll slide a little bit higher, it'll have, it won't be so tight that it can't move. So so hopefully this has been help to somebody. I wish I would have seen it before I started, but it wasn't there before I started. So anyway, this is Do It Yourself Dave reminding to do it yourself and don't call me.